All right, this is Hebrew Israelite, group leader, one body in the Haya, Captain Ezariah Ben Yosef. Okay, all right, I'm doing this video, I'm going to title it, um, Hebrew Israelites are waking up, mo, mo, um, Slakia, more Hebrew Israelites in America are waking up despite Donald Trump's America, white America, all right? I had to redo this video because they're clamping down on Hebrew Israelites, trying to block us, okay? They're demonizing us, everything, and keeping us from bringing the word out. Shalom Hebrews, Captain Ezariah Ben Yosef of the Hebrew camp, one body in the Haya. Um, as you well know, um, the word is getting out um, how they attack the Hebrews, and, and many of us are being slandered because of our faith, right? And we're simply cutting people with the sword. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people can't handle that. we to get it again. Um, handle the truth. Okay, and um, and the um, historic uh, and very inspirational means of the first Hebrew Bible Academy. That's that's right, y'all. Right got a legitimate Georgia Hebrew Academy. Bible Academy. Um, Augusta, Georgia. Okay, um, so please check out the GoFundMe page um, on the True Israel um, Hebrew Israelites. Right, check um check that channel out. There's a GoFundMe page link. Please donate, subscribe, support them. Okay, we can get this word out and this truth. And in fact, that's one of the title of this video because um, um because of bringing the word out. Brothers like myself who are stepping up and, and helping out people in our communities um, and, and and setting up the, um, businesses. I'm self-employed. Uh, running a business, all of that, publishing ebooks, I've been getting the word out. And right. my, my, I'm, I thank the Most High and the Holy Spirit. The greatest achievement, the Most High blessing me is getting the school open. Okay? We've been running a private school, but officially having a building, um, it's, been, it's been a while since the last one, you know, because of lack of funds and whatnot. The Most High blessed us to. Um, financially to get this thing open, okay, for, for Hebrew Israelites, okay, so, so I was a church pastor doing the Christian thing, okay, but it, it's it's not about um, religion, okay, Most High is waking his people up, so if our communities desperately need Hebrew Israelites schools, okay, you know, like the brothers, you know, I used to say they got the cabin. GOCC, they got the cabin. So every group is setting up an academy. And it's no different uh, for a local group here in Augusta, Georgia. You know, not in a high Okay? And um, we have a big event. Come on, quiet down in there. Posting on video. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm doing this downtown. while I'm running the school. So we want to stay tuned for that. <laughs> because um, my camp in February 9th, the Hebrew Israelite Summit, in downtown Augusta, Georgia. <laughs> that I've been linking up with online. Okay? <laughs> Stay tuned. Uh, so, uh, past three years we've been doing this camp. We've been partnering with people from uh, um, Atlanta, Hepzibah, all over Georgia, and parts of South Carolina. So, I suggest you check out the links to that as well. This is Israelites. Barnwell Israelites, um, you know, just check YouTube channel, all right? Elder Ezra Ryan videos, okay? All right? Um, the captain and officer broke bread with some of the biggest people in Israelite groups, all right? And um, so we're doing it, all right? So I'm excited about that. And then you got brothers who are branching out from these groups who are locked down with the doctrines and all of that. And we sincerely want to come together. Okay. All right. And, and and work together as a nation. So we 
excited about that. February, okay, we're going to get on that. Okay, we're going to have uh, a Hebrew summit <laughs> in, in um, Augusta, Georgia. So we're excited about that. So the title of this film, um, this video is going to be uh, um, People Waking Up. All right, so turn with me to Ezekiel. Just one script here. Ezekiel 37. And Ezekiel 37, which is one of my favorites, because it, it really points to us as a people. Mm -hmm. Ezekiel 37, in verse 11, then he said to me, we're talking to the prophet Ezekiel, this is Bible prophecy, okay, to our, to our forefathers, to let them know the, the state of their descendants, which point to the so-called Eucharist. Then he said to me, son of man, these bones that are the whole house of Israel, behold, they say, our bones are dry. And our hope is lost. We are cut off from off for our parts. Okay? And I'm putting here a footnote that the Negroes and Hebrews just point to the curses of Deuteronomy 28. That's right. Negroes, Negroes, Negroes Hispanics, Hispanics we were dead. Okay? Native Americans, you are the children of Israel. Verse 12. Therefore, we are waking up. And say unto them, this is what the Israelite awakening is all about. That's and, right. And thanks to brothers like me, thanks, and, and, and not, it, it's, it's not me, it, it's the Holy Spirit. That's okay? right. It's the Most High waking us up. All right? All right? This, this, the Most High in Christ, the, the blessings are coming. All right? Yeah, by Hashem, the Shia. I say unto them, thus saith the Most High, our power, behold, oh, my people, all throughout the Genesis of Revelation and the books of Psalms. That's right. Outlines explicitly that this is our records. This, this Holy Bible is, is the story, is our history. It's our lost heritage. Jeremiah 17 has been disconnected from our heritage. Okay? Alright? Our hearts are, the book of Jeremiah, our hearts are, are wicked. Alright? So the Most High is saying, look, alright? He's trying to restore us. Okay? But we must come back to the Heavenly Father. Okay? There's only one way through this, and that's through Christ, his son, which was our sacrificial, is our sacrificial lamb. You see know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, my people, I will open your grave and cause you to come up out of your grave and bring you into the land of Israel. Okay? Come on, I'm trying to do a video in here. It's lucky, y'all. He's going to restore us and bring us back to our home. You see? So, we need to be thankful for that. You see what I'm saying? Because the, the Most High wants to restore us as a nation, but there's no doing it without repentance. Okay? Jo um, John 3 and 16. Okay? Alright, at least we repent and accept Christ as our Lord and Savior. Okay? And Matthew 15. Okay? Understand that our heritage, that Christ came for us, the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's right. Okay? And, 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 and also in the book of Matthew, Christ laid it out. This, it, he didn't come to do away with the laws. So we need the commandments and we need Christ. Okay? So we need to be working together. All right? This, that's what this is all about. Okay? And our people are waking up. So they need nothing to Washington Post and, and, and all that foolishness. The and bastards at the Augusta Chronicle. And all that stuff. Yellow journalism. All of them. All these wicked ass journalists. And, and the Southern Poverty Commission. Come, come. Them. You know what I'm saying? They're going to hell anyway. That's right. right? Because this book, Second Ezra, is only for the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. Right? Gentiles got a place, and their place is captivity. <laughs> right? Revelation 13 and 10. Right. Those come, who come. in captivity will go into captivity. Come, right? come. So that's their judgment. Don't get mad at us because <laughs> Job 9.24, the, the earth was given to them and they done nothing but wickedness. <laughs> okay? They kept us in, in bondage. The curses and, and all of uh, the trials and tribulations per, per, pertain to the true children of God because we broke the law, statutes, and commandments. Alright? So don't get mad at Hebrew Israelites because we bring forth truth. Alright? You got, you got to repent. Okay, and you need to have respect for the prophets of the Lord who are coming out and bringing out this word. Okay, all right. This this is <laughs> we're not terrorists. 
this is this is you're the real hero. Right Hebrew Why? Israelites. We, you know, we cut wicked people with truth. Right? So we don't need <laughs> we don't need to be uh, grouped in with terrorists and, and that whole King Alfred plan and all this garbage. Faggots like J. Edgar Hoover. And, and, and Giuliani, who's still running this wicked ass a government. So don't get me started on Trump. You see what I'm saying? He's mad because people are waking up and they know that blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, we are the children of God. You see what I'm saying? They can't handle that. The truth is coming out. And Trump's, <coughs> Trump's make white America Bless. again is becoming, is, instead of an American dream, is becoming a nightmare. You see? So, so people are waking up. More people are waking they up. Understand. <laughs> they, the world knows now. <laughs> the world knows now. Okay, with, with the with the with the march up there in Washington. All right, the million man marches, the, the Hebrew Israelites out there. All right, at the Lincoln Memorial. Okay, and, and check out my video. All right, Ben Yosef, the first Hebrew Israelite preaching against the Georgia. Preaching at the Georgia Guidestones, preaching against that wicked ass place. Mm -hmm. Right? Men like myself aren't afraid to tell these wicked ass devils that they're going to hell. That's right. Right? We're cutting them through the word of God. Amen. Right? Thus saith the Lord. And in Bahashim Yahawashai. Bahaya. Bahashim Yahawashai. You see what I'm saying? The word of God is coming out and they can't stop it. And they know that. So what action they, they got to do? Attack, you know, grouping us in, all right? With um, these entertainers and stuff like that. Demonizing us, slandering us. But they will fail. Why? Because the Son of God is backing us up. The Holy Spirit right. is backing us up. That's what Ezekiel is all about, okay? The Most High is raising us up through the Holy Spirit. You see what I'm saying? This awakening is prophesied in Ezekiel. It, it, is, it has come to pass. All right? There's no way around that. Okay? You either you accept that or you don't. Okay? Because the, um, in the book of Revelations, your judgment is hell. Um, fire and brimstone. You see what I'm saying? If you fuck against the prophets of the Lord, you don't repent of the wickedness. Okay? Accept your heritage. All right? And be standing and fighting for your brothers. Rather than fighting against your brothers, I mean, what kind of what kind of junk is that? All right, because we yell. Isaiah fifty, um, uh, Isaiah fifty-eight. The, bro, the men of the Lord are supposed to cry aloud. Okay, Christ, Revelation one, had the voice of many waters. We're supposed to yell. Oh, they curse. They call women bitches. The Most High called a woman a bitch. Read Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha. Chapter 25 and 26. That's right. Christ himself in the New Testament called a woman a female dog. A bitch is not a bad word. It means female dog, dummy. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and women you just don't, are wicked. And America can't, can't handle the truth. That's what it is. That's why you can't handle real men. Because there's no accountability for women. That's right. Feminism. Transgenderism. All, all that. All kinds of foolishness. Social and immorality. The most high. It was a commandment. Um, Book of Timothy, mm -hmm. Book of Corinthians, mm -hmm. right? First Timothy chapter two. Mm -hmm. Women are to be in subjection to men. Right. All right, submit. They're supposed to keep silent in the church. The church are the people dealing with the children of Israel. Okay, they're not supposed to be talking. All right, all right. Corinthians chapter one. I mean, uh, First Corinthians chapter eleven. Okay, the woman was made for the man. Not the man for the woman. Okay? And they are not allowed. It tells you that in the Bible. It was a commandment. They're not allowed to assert authority over men. Okay? And cursing and all that. The prophets curse. You don't know your Bible? Are you crazy? You bucking up against the prophets of the Lord. I mean, and, and that's insane. Okay? The, the prophet Elijah cursed to uh, a, a group of boys who criticized him and, and mocked him for, for, having, for being bald. He cursed them and wild bears killed them. Nehemiah, the prophet.